What up, everybody? Mike here from MRMG Ward Penmanship and Design, and today we've got a wallet to make. I said make, but we're not actually making a wallet. The wallet's already made, as you can see. Today we're going to be designing a signature and foiling Sir William wallet onto the front of this wallet. I'm excited to design this one, so let's go. Designing Sir William Wallet. <laughs> That's awesome. Makes me wish that my wallet had a name. Tell you what, comment down below what you think I should name my wallet. I think my wallet needs a name. I'm gonna have to design this signature a little bit smaller, keeping in mind that the wallet is not very long. I'm used to designing signatures that are about seven or eight inches long. This wallet is much smaller than that, so I'm gonna have to condense uh, the three words so that they fit up there. Lay everything out real quick. Because we got two W's, we can really easily have two matching entry strokes, because that's kind of cool. But I'm now realizing that this design is just, it's its too long with the S, uh, with the Sir at the beginning, so I'm going to put the Sir at the top center so that everything kind of fits in a little more of a rectangle space should look a little bit better on the wallet. I can simplify uh, my entrance to the W so that it better matches the exit flourish that I put on there. You'll notice the whole design kind of follows now. Almost not triangular, but it it's not mirrored, but it has a nice balanced look. Now I have a double loop entry into the second W which is cool because that gives us a nice oval right in the middle, lower middle of the design, which is cool. And at that, I think I stumbled across a design that I'm happy with. So now I'm just going to clean it up. Let's take it from the design that my eye likes to a design that is quote unquote perfect. No such thing as perfect, but as close as I can get to. Let's clean up all the lines so we have less scribbles around there. It's Racing really comes into play. Again, rotating 90 degrees so I can get a better view of all my ovals, ensuring that they are nice and uh, uniform on the horizontal axes. Or whatever axis they happen to be flying on if they're an angled oval. And with that, it looks pretty clean. Erase, erase, erase. I think we come across a design that I am happy with. So now all we got to do is take this design here. I'm going to redraw it uh, with a pencil or a stylus onto this leather and, or sorry, onto the foil. And then we're going to put on the leather. So, uh, yeah, that's going to fit nice. Stoked. Let's do it. We have it, Sir William Wallet, immortalized on a leather wallet. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, do me a favor, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Be sure that you are falling in love with the process, and don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, life should be just a bit of silliness. Really.